quadratic equation, what you have to do is you have to find the values for x that make your equation work. And those are the two uh, values where your parabola will cross over the x-axis. So if you have an equation uh, like 8x squared plus 2x minus 4. That's a quadratic equation because you have some number times x squared. And this number can be anything except 0. Plus some number times x. And this can be any number. Minus some number and in this case, we've got 4. So our a, our number times x squared, is 8. Our b, our number times x, is 2. And c, our constant number, is 4. So using these three values, we can solve for what x is as this parabola crosses the x-axis. And it's always exactly the same equation. Your equation is the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And all of that has to be divided by 2 times a. So you've got this really complex equation here, which isn't complex at all, because your value for a every time is going to be 8. Your value for b every time is going to be 2. Your value for c, remember this is a minus, so it's negative 4. So there's your three values. So you take this generic equation and just plug in those numbers. The opposite of b, the opposite of 2, is negative 2 plus or minus the square root. b squared is 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. Minus... 4 times 8, which is 32, times negative 4, which is negative 128. And all that's going to divide, be divided by 2 times a, which is 16. Now what you've got is you've got this whole equation set up for your particular equation here, where these are your values. So basically, you have to do a plus here, and you have to do a minus here. So you're going to get two values. You've got negative 2 plus the square root well, what is 4 minus negative 128? Let's go over here again. 4 minus a negative 128 is the same as 4 plus 128, which is 132. So you want the square root of 132, and all of that divided by 16. Now, we've taken care of this plus here. Now we have to take care of the minus. Negative 2 minus the square root of 132 all over 16. And so all we've done is taken this equation and written it first with a plus here and second with a minus here. And so you've got to decide at this point if you want to have an approximation of the square root or if you want to leave the square root as it is, if you want to simplify it into radical form, but you can say, okay, square root of 132, anybody remember what that is? That's about 11.4. So if you do negative 2 plus 11.4 all over 16, you get 9.4 over 16. And that's your answer on one side of your parabola. Or you can do negative 2 minus 11.4. Oops, excuse me, that was a, oops, excuse me, negative 2 
minus 11.4 all over 16. And so that's going to be 11, negative 11, 13.4 over 16. So there's where it crosses the x-axis on the other side of your parabola. And so your picture will look like this. If 9.4 is like here, and negative 13 would be a little bit on this way, so your parabola will look approximately like this. Done.